Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is to try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses, so for further details about how to join us in this challenge for as little as $9 a month and also get access to our exclusive uh, strategy video, information is available in the description below. In the previous video we did an update on all key questions with regard to uh, the new S1A submission and uh, the key focus was on with regard to dates, uh, secrecy, uh, information updated with regard to McCabe bullish update with regard to gas and also looking at potential buyer and squeeze potential so please go back to previous video where we looked at all you need to know uh, with regard to the um, new submission in today's video with what we're going to focus on is um, the viewer top 10 questions that I have received with regard to um, MMTLP so we're going to start here by question number one uh, and this is a question that was asked in the discord and this first question is with regard to trading 212 this is a common question uh, especially from people in the uk and europe and uh, i think it may also apply to some brokers in the uh, united states uh, and this is with regard to brokers which uh, have restrictions uh, in terms of trading mmtlp as it is an otc uh, symbol so uh, let's have a look at the question he said good morning Ali we're getting close to s1 now any further updates to trading 212 I'm really worried, worried we will get stuck with our non-tradable MMTLP so uh, what as far as I'm concerned and uh, and according to the information I know with regard to trading 212 their re response is not really positive what they are saying is they are for now waiting for approval once we have approval they will then put pressure on uh, sorry, they will then provide us with an update. So what I have said here is once we get that approval, then uh, collectively everybody uh, through Trading212, I think um, if there are any concerns, if there are any issues, then we will put uh, collective pressure on them. And the reason for that is as far as I'm concerned, uh, they are legally obliged to give us our entitlement. So uh, as far as I'm concerned and everybody else on behalf of everyone else who cannot trade this good luck to everybody here and obviously if it squeezes and you do exceptionally well uh, that would be great unfortunately we will not be able to benefit from that and uh, as far as our key objective is to get maximum value from uh, the spin out uh, benefits uh, as it goes into next bridge uh, second question is a common question and I am aware there are many view new viewers and many new people uh, watching uh, MMTLP so I'm sure you'll know that on StockTwits uh, the number of watches has been trending uh, so I am going to respond to this question uh, as it may be from a new viewer and the question here is what happens to shareholders once MMTLP goes private is the stock automatically sold so this was covered in uh, my previous video and many other videos so for the benefit of any new viewers uh, the answer is uh, once it goes private then MMT, the value of MMTLP will be zero it's not a common stock it's a preference share and uh, it's only there as a placeholder with entitlement to benefits of the spin out the next question here is from Greg Mathis so shout out to Greg what he said here great video Ali I think this video was the light for the fuse uh, for the boom this morning all the footster shots are going to have a, such a bad weekend when the uh, when this gets more and more exposure so uh, i do agree uh, greg there so i think in terms of the videos and the exposures we have been getting a very positive response i feel people are having a lot more confidence in the stock confidence in the stock so i'm certainly on the side of the retail so um, i do agree thanks for the support greg here so let's have a look at uh, what's happening with uh mmtlp in terms of uh, stock twits we can see here at one point it was number three in uh, on the trending tickers uh, and it was also um identified as one of the top watch uh, stocks uh, to be watched on their watch list as well the next question is one that unfortunately i'm not able to answer but let's have a look at the question and that is from william oliver who stated here is it worth it for me to buy more mmtlp my broker is still allowing shares to be purchased uh, so the response to this is, as obviously I'm sure you're aware, this channel is for entertainment purposes only and I am not a financial advisor. However, what I can say is uh, most people in MMTLP who have done the research and due diligence are uh, 
very very bullish on this current situation and as far as i'm aware i'm not aware of any people uh, certainly the longs who will be selling mmtlp right now so most people have uh, restrictions what i will also say it currently is not easy to buy uh, mmtlp on many brokers so i'm going to give a now a shout out here to lisa young what she said here is um, i sent a message to fidelity this morning about buying mmtlp and this is what they replied are they anticipating problems Closing MMTLP, it just seemed weird to me just putting it out there. So thanks for your post there, Lisa. And basically the response on Fidelity we can see on the le left here. Thanks for your follow up, Lisa. We, uh, you are able to close this position on the website. So in other words, they are uh, allowing uh, people to sell very easily. No issues there. Uh, if you'd like to buy shares of MMTLP, you'll need to reach out uh, at the fixed income team at 800-544-5372 from Monday to Friday, 8 till 8, uh, and uh, obviously probably in a queue for a long time, and then you'll probably get cut off. The next question here is from Bradley, so shout out to Bradley. Uh, so thanks for your question here, and he said, uh, Ali, fantastic video, always exclusive information from this point. Uh, the shorts are going to have to go well over $65 a share in order for people not to sell. Uh, because obviously in Bradley's opinion there is a buyer waiting in the wings the tax-free transaction is a huge incentive for people not to sell in the run-up so in one of my previous videos I did talk about potential outcome where we get a buyer and with that buyer we could get uh, equivalent shares or shares in their stock so this could be Exxon it could be Conco, it could be Marathon and a number of options there. Uh, so what that also potentially allows you to do is if you do get shares in the other, uh, buying company and this gives you an opportunity to defer taxes. Uh, so certainly think it's going to be an interesting ride. I do agree with Bradley. I think there is a buyer waiting in the wings, but again, that's purely my opinion. Uh, and what I now like to do is uh, give a shout out to Tony from Tony Twits Market Move. So check out his channel and what he's also posted here is uh, great news for everybody again what he said here in terms of what um, another possibility is here is we know that this been, has been going on for one year so anybody who bought mmtlp on the first day of trading so we're only referring to the longs here and held if you sell any profits fall under long-term capital gains so that will be a very very significant benefit for people in the united states the next question is actually i'm going to refer to this as an implied question and this is from john birder himself who's tweeted here on the 7th of october and what he stated here from iborrowdesk.com looks like they borrowed another 400,000 shares and I think uh, what John is referring to is referring to the shorts or the hedge funds. So uh, again, in terms of reaction from this uh, first shout out here, I'm going to give to is to Tony from Market Moves again. Uh, and again, with regard to the shorts being in trouble and a potential squeeze, what Tony has said here is exactly not uh, only are the fundamentals there. We're looking at 3.2 billion barrels of oil plus uh, and then a potential huge amount of gas. Uh, only 165 million shares, daily average volume around about 300,000, short interest uh, approximately 6.6 .6 million shares, so definitely uh, fundamentals and data there uh, suggesting it could run. Uh, the other thing I'd like to now do is uh, have a look at uh, a response here from uh, uh, Bryson uh, and uh, what Bryson is uh, sorry not from Bryson from James who shared um, uh, a post here from Ameritrade so let's have a look at this post so this is a uh, an older post but again it's uh, quite relevant in terms of what we're looking at now for the shorts and it's saying uh, uh, good morning good question if you have a short position in this company uh, that decided to go private you would indeed need to cover your position beforehand or you would most likely be forced to buy back the shares at a certain rate so the key thing i want to focus on there is forced to buy back so the brokers will be forcing the shorts to cover they will be forcing them to buy back and uh, if they are buying back the price goes up the shorts will have no choice and just following up from this uh, the additional data i'd like to add in here is from uh, qn tain mnt on uh, twitter who's also posted here uh, additional information from uh, Torchlight. So he's posted here, look at all these short shares. If these numbers are accurate, we could get uh, $80 plus stock price. Many of them of us will become millionaires. So 100% agree with that. I think many people holding MMTLP 
I, uh, as far as I'm aware, are going to be new millionaires. So good luck to everybody here. As of close of June the 6th, um, uh, sorry, 4th of June, 2021, we're looking at in excess of 17 million shares. We're looking at 32 point, uh, just in excess of 32 million international shares and naked shorts, we're looking at 38 million. So total shares short, 87 million. So um, again, uh, clarification in terms of every, every, whoever was holding uh, shorting torch they will need to cover now through mmtlp so potential uh, is there for a huge problem for uh, any shorts that were still there from uh, the previous torch the next question is from abhinesh chandra so this uh, question is also uh, really for some of the newer viewers who are probably just tuning in and joining the list of growing watchers so let's have a look at this question so this is from abhinesh chandra who said uh, thanks for the update, Sally. Question, uh, so we have to hold MMTLP shares to get our dividends. Once the S1 is approved, MMTLP shares will freeze, correct? For trading, uh, this will then be converted to next bridge, correct as well. Uh, when do we see dividends? And if, uh, if it's a non-traded company, we are hoping for them to be bought by someone, uh, then only we will be able to sell our shares. Is this correct in my understanding? Or if I'm wrong, please email me. Uh, so um, before answering the question, I'd like to actually give a, a, a thank you and shout out here to Paisen59, who has responded here with a, a very good uh, answer. And he said, once S1 is approved, record date and distribution date is set. Yes, this was covered in the previous video. You have until the distribution date to sell your MMTLP shares if you want to sell. On or after distribution share, your shares will then be converted to next bridge. A record date is going to be set by uh, obviously um, uh, the company. And uh, then we have the account down to the distribution date. Uh, so in the previous video, what uh, Payson has said is uh, please refer back to the five minute and 25 seconds uh, where it is uh, explained quite clearly. So again, quick, quick reminder you uh, in terms of selling your shares, you cannot sell shares on or after the distribution date. The next question is actually the most common question and that is a question asked by most people and the question is how much are we likely to get? How much can we expect to get? But the actual true answer is nobody really knows. Everything is speculation. But what I am now going to do is give a shout out to the bird lady. So let's have a look at her take on this. So what she said here in terms of the close of play on Friday, exciting price action today. I am not selling anything until it gets to $85. Goes up from there. We're looking at 3.2 billion barrels of oil plus natural amount. Uh, and this is uh, to be determined. So we're going to have a look at the potential value for gas uh, shortly. So she's looking at a minimum price here around about $85 uh, before she sells MMTLP. So from my point of view, I, I unfortunately, as you know, I am not able to buy or sell. So I'm only able to hold my previous legacy shares uh, from the previous year. And uh, from my point of view, what I'm expecting, I'm hopefully expecting equivalent shares into companies such as Exxon uh, and also possibly uh, cash plus shares. The next shout out here is to DC. So what he stated here with regard to synthetic shares and he said what will happen to all the synthetic shares that are still seeing that sorry that are still selling up to now because you can still buy on the OTC market in many brokers. Will that affect the squeeze play making it easier for them to get hold of the synthetic shares. So uh, special shout out here to Sering's uh, five, sorry, five ring 16 who's responded here. Synthetic shares exist only on the computer screen. So that is correct. These are uh, fake shares. They're not real shares. They don't give you any benefits of ownership. So if you do have uh, synthetic shares as a short uh, or either, even as an investor, you're not going to get any benefit from them. You have to end your synthetic position. So uh, this also is something that could potentially uh, lead to uh, a squeeze as well. And for the final question, I'm going to like to give a shout out here to Not So Average Honesty and what he stated here with regard to a potential buyer. And we're also going to look at gas in this question. Uh, I think a big player is the only one that can buy the property. I can see MMTLP squeezing to $120, even maybe even $250. So obviously comparing this to a potential OST situation. And uh, we have uh, had uh, suggestions of this before and I have come across them recently as well from some of the... Um, people discussing what's going on. So he said here, I think the deal to sell is already in place. 
just saying because of the name next bridge uh, just bridges as an inconvenience gap so um interesting uh, statement there and uh, i'd also like to follow this up by giving a shout out to mvp chair who's talking about gas and he says the Ori Grande has over 6 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. So from my point of view, I agree with that statement. However, I'm going to go a little bit further and I believe there is just over 6 trillion uh, cubic feet of natural gas. So uh, as far as the company is, con uh, is concerned, if they were to officially release this news, uh, then uh, we could have uh, problems with regard to confidentiality for a buyer. Uh, so this is uh, information that is officially only uh, available to the insiders at the moment as far as I'm concerned so not official information but behind the scenes there is lots of speculation that they have huge huge amounts of gas and I think once we have confirmation of a buyer then hopefully we get news about this so one thing I have I'm now going to share with you with regard to my research uh, of the new S1 submission here I'm going to share a post uh, that I've shared with you in one of my previous video I talked about the importance of um, water so on this post here uh, highlighted on the green here is uh, the company have announced productive wells here for oil gas um, we're looking at five wells for gas uh, test wells uh, we also have salt water disposal and very very important fresh water supply so uh, fresh water supply is very very important as in terms of keeping the cost down and that has to be sustainable and in that previous video there one of the things i talked about is why in terms of Hudspeth this is not an issue because the population is very very low so there is not pressure on uh, water supply so that is a great benefit for any potential company uh, drilling for oil drilling for gas I finally like to finish off by giving a quick reminder and a shout out to our weekly watch list uh, I'm sure many of you are aware that last week was an extremely difficult week with all this, the stock market down close to a trillion dollars and almost every stock down in the red uh, obviously apart from mmtlp so one of the stocks that we did call out was Tiximil fngr this did has been running up at one point it was up in excess of 700 percent over the previous five days uh, and this is a, obviously a, a stock that we've been talking about in the discord so we will be releasing our next weekly watch list uh, from uh, just prior to the market opening on the Monday. So in order to get access to our weekly watch list, you can certainly consider joining us in the Discord where we can participate in live trading discussions as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.